Welcome to the last section of the Delphi Mastering course. In the seventh section, we will learn the most common practice of Delphi development. In this section, we are going to take a look at designing user interface, editing and creating a new styles for your own applications, and we got coding tricks on Delphi and the third party libraries for powering up the Delphi applications, creating a trial and a registration version of the programs, easy ways of creating applications, something like that using the wizards and reusing forms, writing your own components for both VCL and FMX frameworks, and we got unit testing practices in Delphi development. Designing the user interface. So in this video, we will learn user interface design, multiple user interfaces like cross-platform applications, differences between user interface and user experience, and creating user interface. So what is user interface design? In information technology, the user interface or UI is everything designed into an information device with which a person may interact. This can include display screens, keyboards, and the appearance of a desktop. It is also the way through which a user interacts with an application or a website. The growing dependence of many companies on web applications and mobile applications has led many companies to place increased priority on user interface in an effort to improve the user's overall experience. Generally, the goal of the user interface design is to produce a user interface which makes it easy, efficient, and enjoyable to operate a machine in the way which produces the desired result. This generally means that the operator needs to provide a minimal input to achieve the desired output, and also that the machine minimizes the undesired outputs to the human. Multiple user interface. Multiple user interface allow people using mobile phones, laptops, desktops, or the other devices to access and read information from their central server on the internet in a coherent and a consistent way and communicate effectively with other users who may be using different devices. And evaluating the user experience of a cross-platform interactive systems has become a research issue of increasing importance. There's a lack of clear concepts and definitions for testing, evaluating, or even teaching cross-platform user experiences. So, difference between UI and UX. At the most basic level, the user interface or UI is the series of screens, pages, and visual elements like buttons and icons that you use to interact with the device. User experience, on the other hand, is the internal experience that a person has as they interact with every aspect of a company's products and services. The term UX was coined by a cognitive scientist Don Norman in the early 1990s while he has VP of the Advanced Technology Group at App. User experience encompasses all aspects of the end user's interaction with the company, its services and its products. So the key benefit of Delphi and FireMonkey is that you can design your app once and from the same code base you can natively compile for different operating systems, different form factors and orientations. That is a unique capability on the market today, but it also poses new challenges. One of the key foundations of FireMonkey graphical user interface library is the fact that different visual controls can own other controls. You can quickly see this parental containment relationships in the structure view. With a mouse, you can drag controls to change their parents. So, when you are building user interfaces that need to look good at different form sizes, it's a good practice to group controls within the parent. Obviously, you can use the visual controls like T panel for grouping, but in FireMonkey, there are also layout components that don't have any visual representations at runtime. Their sole purpose is to group other visual controls. You can see different available layout controls in the layouts category in the toolpath. For example, T-layout, T-group layout, flow layout, the frame and scroll box, and others. And also you can make the good user experience by using the T-gesture manager. And here you can see the say, style and views for designing the user interfaces for every device. So here we got the form and a top control, three tab items here, and we got the grid layout, and in the grid layout we got lots of buttons. All the buttons are positioned by the grid layout properties. 
So here we got Stylebook, which we can open and apply the styles to our application. So here we got multi view and two speed buttons. You can open the code here, and we are using the T form to create application for creating the form on the memory and showing it to the user. So that's it. You can open the unit two here. So again, we got the buttons here: edit, label, memo. And again, stylebook, but we have used the transparent style to our applications. And here we got flow layout. The old components owned by the flow layout components. And there's no aligned properties for these components, but only the we got the margin properties. So you can open the views and we got the iPhone style here and Android. You can see iPhone and the tab control tab items positions to the bottom in the iOS operating system. OS X desktop and the phone we can rotate it here. So select the master on this one. And again we got OS X desktop iPhone 4.7 here. And all the components positioned automatically. Android 4 here and rotate it. Can sign it and rotate again. Here the result. So now we can run this application. You can see it is the results on the Windows operating system. As you can see, we are using the grid layout and it automatically changes these positions here. So open the multi view and the new window and we can type and uh, press the enter key or we can write something and click the insert button and it focuses to edit one. And back it's close. You can see this code here. But one edit key down form create. We are focusing the edit one here. So in the coming with the tutorial, we will learn how to edit the style book styles here. This is the beginning of the section.